Hello and welcome to West Wales. If you're new here then I normally make videos about spinning and knitting and fibre arts but I thought I would do a little bit of a vlog type video today because um, you know it's a sunny day and I'm feeling inspired to vlog and I'm also not feeling very inspired to spin which does sort of sometimes happen uh, as the weather gets a bit better because I don't necessarily always want to be working with wool but I have been wanting to work with watercolours which is sort of what I do for a living rather than spinning knitting that's you know it's just a hobby that I enjoy and I've really enjoyed sharing it with you here on YouTube did I say my name's Becca I can't remember anyway my name's Becca and as this is a vlog probably there's not going to be lots of new people watching so it's probably people who watch all the time so welcome back and I'm probably not going to put out a podcast this week just because when I am filming the spinning and sort of um, you know creating with wool then it's actually quite a long process because um, I'm spinning and then I'm finishing and knitting and you know all that stuff and I'm just not going to get that done this week because uh, I'm well <laughs> doing other things as they say i am got the paints out and actually got down to doing some work and I will I'll drop a picture in just so you can see what I've been working on and I'm working on stationery because that is kind of my business and I'm always working about two seasons ahead of myself so in the summer I'm working on Christmas so this time of the year I'm really working on sort of summer and autumn um, I mean it's far too late to do things for spring which is a shame because really I have got some good ideas for spring but uh, I just I was not feeling it a few months ago I was really kind of struggling with my uh, whole uh, wanting to work on my business which I guess is kind of burnout which we get anyway um I'm digressing slightly so I'm going to turn you around because we're in the woodland but I also thought I would um, show you a little bit of where we went this week because we have been out and about because it's Andrew's birthday coming up very soon so I've been out looking for a birthday present but enough of that and I'll turn you around and show you where we are. So we're just in the woods just taking the dog out for a walk and the sun is out the birds are singing and there's lots of tree pollen which is probably why I'm sounding a bit more nasally than usual because uh, I'm full of allergies and considering that I eat quite a lot of local honey because we're beekeepers uh, really you'd think I wouldn't get allergies but I do so uh, there's a lot of um, hazel out at the moment and gosh it's giving me some serious amount of trouble with uh, hay fever. So there you go, blue sky. So I think what I'll do is I will just show you what we were doing a bit earlier in the week. It's a wild and windy 1st of March here in West Wales, which is St David's Day. And I'm out looking for inspiration for a new tapestry weaving project. I'm also on a fibre arts field trip because I'm hoping to visit the local woolen mill, which is just on our way home. So let's turn the camera around and show you where we are. We've come to the Shingley Beach at Abermower, and as you can see, the sun is shining and the sky is blue. But it's quite wild and windy, as it often is on the north coast of Pembrokeshire. Today I'm looking for pebbles, and I'm after something that's got veins and stripes in to use as inspiration for my next tapestry weaving project. Abermower is quite a secluded bay but it's popular with the local dog walkers. The parking is limited so if you come here in the summer you're probably better to park at the mill and then come to the beach on foot. The coastline in North Pembrokeshire is quite different from that in South Pembrokeshire. The beaches are shingly and they can be quite steep. And the landscape is a little more rugged than you get in the south. 
The beaches in South Pembrokeshire are quite sandy and very different. But if you enjoy a rugged, wildlife rich landscape, the North Pembrokeshire just can't be beaten. Abermower has a little bit of a claim to fame and as you go to the top of the beach you'll come to what's called the Cable Hut. Now it's let to holiday makers and it is a holiday cottage and anyone can stay there. The so-called Cable Hut was the starting point for the transatlantic telegraph cable and in 1866 the Great Eastern started laying the cable from West Wales to Ireland and then across to America. It's about half a mile walk back down the road towards the Woollen Mill and the Woollen Mill used to be powered by a water wheel and you can still see where the water was diverted in the local stream and it's a ford and the dog really enjoyed splashing through this as did I in fairness because I am of course just a big kid at heart and the woolen mill started its life in the Georgian period and it was where local people could have their fleeces turned into yarn if they wished to but now it is where the traditional Welsh blankets or Welsh tapestry blankets are woven and you can see the old water wheel that hasn't been used in a good few hundred years and now the looms are electric. It has been in the same family ownership since the 1910s and they really have done a fantastic job of keeping the local industry alive and they export across the globe and they have very big customers in Japan and they're famed for the quality of the design and the beautiful subtle colours that they weave in. It's completely free to look round and anyone can just park up and see the weaving in process. Obviously they weren't weaving when I was there. And then there is a shop and I shall be choosing something from the shop for Andrew's birthday. I wonder if you can guess what they are going to be. And then it's off to the cafe to buy cake. So it's really funny watching this kind of, I just watched footage back. Oh my goodness, my hair. <laughs> I just, it's, it's wild. It's absolutely wild. Oh goodness. Anyway. So I hope you are having a really fantastic week and that you're doing lots of really amazing creative things. And although I'm not spinning and I probably won't get to doing my um, selection box spinning until past the weekend, I am having a lovely creative time. And we've got out into the garden and planted a few things up. I didn't film that because, um, well, just because I sort of didn't think about it. Anyway, I will say tatty bye for now. I might see you a little bit later in the week if I'm feeling inspired to pick up the camera and say hello.